My name is Rats, and welcome back to another Hearthstone Arena. Oh man, so they've revamped a few of the animation speeds and stuff like that. I'll go over the stuff that's changed as soon as I can. I did that two episodes ago, I did that one episode ago, so it looks like it's going to be Hunter. Ooh, this is an unfortunate decision. Pilot Sky Golem is an amazing value card, but the Shade of Anaxoramus is... I think the Shade of Anaxoramus is actually too slow for the current arena, so I'll take the Pilot Sky Golem because it's just so good. Uh, Oasis Snapjaw, not only beast synergy, but also it's just like solid dude. These are all really bad. I guess I take the Archon Squire for an early game. Lord of the Arena for a big taunt to try and stop big dudes? Ugh, I mean, that's so bad, but I guess I'll take it. Ugh, that was not fun. Tim Wolf is only worthwhile when you have a number of beasts. I've only got one out of four so far, so I'll take a Mech Warper, which might be able to enable a new sort of deck for me. Uh, might be able to put me into a Mech Archetype. There have been some patches uh, to Hearthstone. I'll talk about those if they become relevant in-game. Uh, Burly Rockjaw Trog is the only worthwhile one of those stats-wise. Direwolf Alpha makes the Argent Squire not so horrible. Plus the other two aren't amazing, so I'll take a Direwolf Alpha, sure. It's also a, um, it's also worth noting that it's a beast. Uh, Hunter's Mark, sure, for taking down some big dudes. Harvest Golem, yep. Yes, thank you. Bomb Lobber, one of my favorite new cards in GVG. Um... Abusive Sergeant's okay. No, I've got to take the 3-2. Yeah. Oop, it's always Animal Companion. Always Animal Companion. Such a fucking good 3-drop. These are all bad. Uh, Gnomish Experimenter could be worth my while if I had a huge amount of spells, but only two of my cards so far are spells. Animal Companion, Hunter's Mark. Oh, uh, this really isn't that good. I'll take a Master Swordsmith and hope that I get it in good positions. Um... How many beasts do I have so far? One, two, three. Three beasts out of a total of 13 cards. You know, that's about 20%. Aww. Just because I don't want another Oasis snap job, sure. I'll take it. Houndmaster, 100%. Especially since I already have an animal companion, and whoa, that's a bug. Especially since I have the Animal Companion and I've got the Oasis Snapjaw, even putting it on a Direwolf Alpha is an amazing thing to do. Value-wise, at least. These are all bad. Salty Dog? Do I yeah, I guess I look like... Oh, man, that, that feels so horrible deep down in my soul to have to do, but it was worthwhile. Stranglethorn Tiger is a 5 uh, It's another Animal Companion, so it's an Animal Companion, of course. Puddle Stomper for a solid 3-2. Oh, Azure Drake or Bomb Lobber. Both are amazing. Uh, okay, so I don't actually have any card draw, do I? Yeah, zero card draw. It's got to be Azure Drake. Glaive Zooka is amazing. It, I think it's actually... I mean, Harvest Golem is so good, but Glaive Zooka is apparently the best early game card that came out in GVG for Hunter. That's what everyone's saying to me, at least. Fairy Dragon, the other two are trash. Another Glaive Zooka. I mean, it's like, it's kind of-ish, if you want to think about it like this. It's like the Fiery Winax for Hunter. It's distributed differently, but it's kind of similar. Oh, these are all bad. Uh, I might actually take Call Pet. Now, the reason I would take Call Pet is just because it's two mana draw a card. King of Beasts, plus one attack for each other beast you have. How many beasts am I going to have? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, that's five possible beasts, so... I mean, maybe... Uh, I'm going to take the King of Beasts just because Call Pet is, like, so anti-value. The King of Beasts is most often only going to come out as a 3-6 taunt, right? So it's going to come out kind of uh, like Fen Creeper. Think of it as a Fen Creeper. But it's also a beast, so maybe I get more synergy elsewhere. Uh, Abusive Sergeant to buff up some other cards before they run in. Haunted Creeper is amazing. Yeah, I'm not so focused on getting more late game now. Ooh, Kill Command, Shattered Sun Cleric. There's some really good targets for the Shattered Sun Cleric. 
I have to take it. I want the kill command, though, for the face, but I have to take the Shattered Song. I don't have enough beasts to justify the... Oh, Animal Companion. <laughs> uh, see an Animal Companion, pick an Animal Companion. Silverhand Knight's the only valuable one of those. And then our final card is... Trash. Uh, I guess I take Jeeves and try and run out my hand early. This is an aggressive deck, very clearly. Uh, but it's an aggressive deck through board control, not through being able to instantly gimp your opponent with, uh, with spells or anything like that. Unfortunately, it doesn't have many solid ones for an aggressive deck, which has become more important in GVG because people are picking, you know, your two ones more often. So they're picking Lepanome, they're picking uh, Loot Hoarder, they're picking Clockwork Gnome, they're picking more of those cards more often. But at least we've got an Argent Squire which can pick one of those off and survive. Um, I'm not going to make a prediction for this deck. I've decided not to make predictions for decks <clears throat> because I always end up stunningly underwhelmed. Versus Jaina. You asked for it. Let the hunt begin. I'm actually going to keep Animal Companion and Harvest Golem because they're both fucking amazing. I can't even play a Glaive Zooka with a naked board, can I? Greetings, traveler. Hello. Yeah, I think I wait. So, the way that it looks like it's going to be is Coin, Harvest Golem, followed by Animal Companion. So that was from the top deck, that's why that wasn't played last turn, but I'm just surprised it was played at all. Luckily, the opponent does not, because they didn't have the coin, have enough mana to either Flame Cannon or Frostbolt this, then remove the 2-1 as well. Hmm. Playing Animal Companion. Does that count as playing a minion? Can I risk it? Hmm. Summon a random Beast Companion. When your enemy plays. Alright. I think that's fine. Unless, of course, that's Counterspell. Whoa. Alright. Uh, no nothing's happening. Nothing's happening at all. Did Battle.net go down? No, Battle.net's still apparently up. Is the new patch broken? Is something is uh I played a card, now I can't do anything. I can't do that. That's a zero mana card. Okay. That is weird. Luckily I do have a solid way to play around um summoning my own abusive sergeant, I guess. What? Secret didn't trigger? It's vaporize. It's ice barrier. What the fuck? All right. Chill. Whew. So the patch is clearly broken. That's probably not what you were aiming for there. The patch is clearly just not working, I guess. Everything's much more delayed than it should be. Oh, dear. Well, at least I'm kind of pooping all over the opponent in this game, so it doesn't matter right now. That's right, Fumac. Pooping all over. Ah, uh, get behind me. Oh, get behind him.
So I want the strongest board I can have against uh, Flame Strike. Strongest board I can have against Flame Strike is Burly Rockshaw Trog. Hunter's marking that. Then Glaive Zooka. Oh god. That was bad. I should have played the Glaive Zooka first so that I knew that the buff was not going to go onto the Burly Rockshaw Trog. Now, the reason that I've done that is because this has Death Rattle, even though I could use Hunter's Mark and then run this in, right? This has Death Rattle, this has Death Rattle, this has 5 health. So if my opponent runs Flame Strike this turn, I get a 2 1, a 1 1, and a 5 5. Sorry, a 5 1. Resultantly. You better have a real good plan. The light protects me. The gates are open. The light protects me. Oh, that's... That's good. Man, everything's triggering in a weird order. Like, it's not triggering at normal speed. I hunt alone. That's suddenly not such a great play, because it means this can run into that and then flame strike. Although, that might actually put me very close to lethal. Yep. There's a flame strike. Now you can kill this. One, nine, four, fourteen. Okay. It's fourteen damage this turn. <sighs> Obviously, I can't play the Matter Bomber now. Sorry, the Mad Bomber, not the Madder Bomber. The singular amount of Mad Bomber. Hmm. None of these are beasts, unfortunately. It is slightly odd in that fashion that the... Haunted Creeper is a beast. The Spectral Spiders are not. I mean, flavor-wise, it makes a little bit of sense, but it's just... Hmm. It's also weird how only some of the cards that are... Well, hang on. Five... Five... Three... Yeah, I have Leafy. It's also weird how only some of the cards which are spiders, are considered beasts. But, you know, I'm not a game designer. I guess I'm not allowed to pass judgment on that. First game, pretty damn easy. Didn't really have to talk about many tactical decisions there. It's actually probably going to be worth noting at this point one of the patch changes. So, when a minion has death rattle and it dies and it summons another minion, that minion that is summoned is now targetable much earlier, right? So you don't have to wait like five seconds for your opponent's harvest golem to summon a damage golem so you can then kill it, right? The animation is either quicker, I mean, I don't know how it works, either the minion's just targetable faster or the animation runs really quick. I don't know. But that's probably going to be important for us because we have a number of cards that have death rattle summon a minion. So it'll be our opponents that are going to be able to make use of that. Hmm. I have finished all of my caffeine for today. And it is unfortunate. Oh well. Ah. Oh. Um... What? And we're back. Sorry for the huge delay between the two. Uh, you may notice. Because I'm totally gonna forget everything that's in this deck. I'm just having a quick look over it now. Looks like it's a fairly go-for-the-face kind of affair that we've got going on here. The huge delay between the first half of this arena and the last half of this arena was first off because arena went down and then... Black Rock Mountain came out, so I had to record for that, and then yada yada yada, etc. Y, X, Y, Z. Many things happened. Too many things happened, to be completely honest with you. So we might even be versing people who have cards 
from the first wing of Blackrock Mountain. Whereas we have no such advantage, so might as well try and finish this arena and get to a point that we do have it. Next arena, we might draft some. Who knows? Hopefully. Animal Companion's amazing opening. Might as well keep it. The rest of these are horrible. I really want a three drop so I can justify having a three in my hand. Otherwise, I can't coin three into three and I kind of have a shitty curve. Greetings, traveler. I'm not certain if we can get the Blackrock Mountain card. Sorry, the uh, Blackrock Mountain. My I mean, well played to this person. Uh, it wouldn't have even... I would not have even thought uh, to um, use Claw to hit face on turn one. That's, that's the difference between Easy Peel and myself. I wouldn't even see that play. He knew that he could claw the face for two damage, and I have no way to respond. He or she, they, you, sorry. <sighs> hey, I drew well, let's just say that much at least. I managed to top deck the curve, a one and then a two. That's crazy. I feel like I want to coin my uh, Stranglethorn Tiger. Aww. Now I don't want to. Okay. Houndmaster on Oasis Snapjaw is like the dream. You basically make a 4-9. So you kind of make an Ancient of War. Right? So powerful. I may just leave it there for the moment. God, I am ill right now. It's it's not even like cold or anything like that. I am not a morning. No, it's worse. I have back pain. Oh baby. Nothing more fun than a good bit of back pain. I'm six foot fucking four, I have too much back to have pain in it. It's just like 90% of my body is now pain, because it's all back. <sighs> Shapeshift, of course. I'm trying to think exactly how conservative I want to be in trying to kill that. <clears throat> Turns out not conservative at all. Sorry, I just muted the microphone there after the coughing and also before more of it. Just to try and have a little less of the noise of me dying. Okay, I've only got one beast on the battlefield at the moment, which means Stranglethorn Tiger is a bad idea, but Stranglethorn Tiger is going to have summoning sickness, so I want to cast it after. Sorry, before I cast the Stranglethorn Tiger. Sorry, the Glaive Zooka. It's going to have Summoning Sickness, so I want to cast it after the Glaive Zooka, so that the Glaive Zooka gives the buff to something that doesn't have Summoning Sickness. Push forward. So that's the maximum amount of losses that I could kind of prevent. And at this point, I do want to be going to the base. So the King of Beasts is going to come out as a 4-7? No, just a 4-6. Magic. Uh, I mean, that's still okay. Bingo. 
It's not amazing. Oh, hey, we win. Well Two zero. Now, I did hear some stuff on the Hearthstone subreddit that apparently with the release of Blackrock Mountain, there's a lot of new players flooding the arena. I started this fucking arena just- I'm just exempting myself from any blame, uh, as to- Ryan, are you going to arena at this time to make yourself look good by stomping new players? No! No, I started this fucking arena before Blackrock Mountain came out. It's just, it got delayed. So now I have to come to arena and stomp any new players. Damn, I'm a douchebag. Although I imagine we're only going to find new players in like the first three matches. And then after that, we're going to start finding, you know, the standard affair. We have so many fucking two drops. Two is our highest spike. I've got to keep the Shattered Sun because if it bu if it buffs a two drop, often I get to trade that two drop without a loss. Um, Shattered Sun, what the fuck are you doing? <sighs> I'm disappointed in you, Shattered Sun. Just standing there, nothing to buff. I need this to give me Leok. If this gives me Huffer, I'm gonna be mad. No, not Leok. Uh, well, Leok is the second. Leok, I guess, would be the second that I would take. But I want Misha. 4-4. Four, four. I just want the fucking hard stats, son. Developing a dagger makes this so much better for me. Oh. Uh. Okay. So anything except Hopper is really good right now. Here we go. Fuck you. Of course it's Hopper. The 2 1 trades into that, so there's no reason for me to trade. I just get four extra damage in by going for face there. God damn it. What is going on here today? So many options. I can't imagine there's that many. You use your coin, so. It's not like you're looking at combo effects. I think it's possible they're looking at re-daggering, deadly poisoning, attacking my Huffer, and then 2-1 to the face. Which I guess I'd be okay with, because then I cast the- no, because then I cast the Burly Rockjaw Trog and it dies to the 2-1 and the rest of the dagger. Ugh. Rough. Well. This isn't going swimmingly. It's just not cricket. Alright. Looks currently like both of those have to trade in order to kill mine. Hopefully. I do have some kind of anti-aggression going on. The Haunted Creeper is more defensive than it is offensive. The Lord of the Arena is Taunt, which kind of covers that ground as well. Unfortunately, I need my opponent not to have an established board if I want to play the Lord of the Arena. Otherwise, I just lose the Lord of the Arena to my opponent's fairly less powerful board. Job's done. So your Drake draws me a Glaive Zooka. Alright. Whether or not I use the Glaive Zooka is entirely dependent on... If my opponent plays a Sludge Belcher this turn. I wonder. Pretty much. They play a Sludge Belcher, I get to kill it with just the Glaive Zooka and then develop whatever else I want. <sighs> I could even keep the Azure Drake out of dagger range by giving it a buff with the Shattered Sun. Oh. That's unfortunate. 
it's definitely not something I wanted to have happen. Um, so then I play weak things, right? I'm not particularly perturbed if this dies. I haven't really got any mech synergy, and with the amount of cards that I'm just going to be constantly trying to run out of my hand, it's not going to matter if, you know, we get to a turn and have a mech, because we'll usually have the mana to play it, since all of our cards are pretty low cost. The only expensive mech we have is the Pilot of Sky Golem on 6 mana. <laughs> That's... I mean, you've got to have a plan to kill the 3-3. The dagger plus your hero power would have killed the 3-3. And that's... 100% the more threatening target. So you've got to have a board clear, right? Please tell me you didn't just misplay. Like, that's... That's not even a misplay. That's like a strategic misplay. It's just a horrible decision to make. Well, um, I mean, I can remove both of them and get myself back to full health, but then I put down the mech warp bar to, oh, no, wait, no, I just need my opponent not to have an established board. Easy. That's kind of a non-established board. It's a one drop. Is there anything less established than a one drop? What's going on here? Power off. So many options. Damned phone. I guess the thing that destroys my day is this gets assassinated. My opponent has two mana left. They use the one dagger to kill the mech warper. They hero power get a one one dagger back. There's the assassinate. Oh, they traded a minion. So they must have some big plans for that two mana. Congratulations, you saved three HP and killed one of your own minions in the process. Bring me steel. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Which of these is the most vulnerable to Okay, first off, Master Swordsmith goes in the goddamn middle, the and then sunwell. I give the buff over there. This is so that Betrayal is not particularly powerful against my board. Betray this target, that takes the damage, that takes the damage. Nothing dies, unless you hit this as well. So you're using a two mana card as one damage without the draw effect. So betrayal is therefore bad in that situation. To North Red. Oh. Bang and then Bop Diggity. Bop Diggity. Oh, that's the one three gone. I almost feel like I should not bomb lob this turn. No, it develops a minion on the board. And right now, I just need to be going to space. I was thinking about it, because I'm like, ah, I mean, the three dagger gets to kill one of them, but my opponent has shown they have no interest in using their dagger to remove minions. They just don't have the huevos rancheros for it, right? So they're not going to go for the attacks, unless they're super desperate. Or have healing. If they develop a huge taunt, I cannot wait to Hunter's Market and then kill it with the Mad Bomber that snipes it out. It's totally going to happen 100% of the time. Um, other than that, I'm really just going to steady shot him down. At this point, you need heal. You can draw cards, it's fine. But you can't play an Antique Heal Bot anymore. You haven't got the coin and an Antique Heal Bot costs 5. 
Anti Killbot is basically the big threat. Also, you'll notice the minion that does the least amount of damage is central to the board. Why this one? This one is literally better in every way. I mean, I know you were going to kill both of them, but it's, it's, why? Okay. Can you win this turn? Now, what kind of Miracoli rogue shit is going on here? Dave's not there. Dave's not here. Sorry. Okay, so you have exactly three mana to kill me. Or heal yourself. So have you got an Earthen Ring Fast here? Have you got a Voodoo well Doctor? No. Rizzle The problem here is that I have to upload this, I have to render and then upload this arena tonight, right? And I happen to know that if I'm recording an arena the previous day before it needs to go up, uh, I need to allow myself at least eight hours for it to upload. If it's an hour long. So if this arena has any success whatsoever, it becomes very difficult to get up on time tomorrow. Get the arena up on time. I mean, not get up on time. Uh, Puddle Stomper goes back. I'm looking for... I mean, those are both really good if I had the coin, because then the Oasis Snapjaw is the coin three, and then Houndmaster is a huge fucking buff. But I was really just looking for anything that Mech Warper could allow me to cheat out a little cheaper. I don't even know my deck sufficiently enough to guess that Mech Warper has enough mechs to cheat out. Uh, actually, that's good regardless, though. A 2-3 buffed by a Shattered Sun Cleric becomes a 3-4, which is the best distribution of stats at that mana cost. Because a 3-4 doesn't die to a 3-2 or a 2-3, which are the most common uh, attack and defense stats of a 2-drop. However, a 4-3 still dies to 3-2s. That's why Succubus sucks ass. Eh, whatever, I still have to play on curve, so the Shattered Sun Cleric goes down next. I wonder why you're peppering it up. Hopefully giving it one more health makes that peppering far less valuable. I mean, you do have the coin, but why would you need it to be two health? What to do? Maybe you're trying to get it down to the point that you could swipe something else and it goes down to one health so you can kill it with the hero ability? I don't know. You can't be looking forward to Starfall, can you? Oh, that's a swipe. What? No, that's not a swipe. That is a swipe. Is that a swipe Moonfire? It's a swipe Moonfire. That's... that's a thing that just happened. Alright. If I desperately need to remove something with four or less health, I'll have a master attack, but... I mean, I'm hoping that's not the case, because I'd prefer to Silver Hand Knight play on curve. Hmm. What does the future hold? I don't think druids have enough boss to make me severely regret that decision. Plus, this could be a 7-7 seven, seven next turn. And I could play a Mad Bomber if I really wanted to. Fuck, I love the Hound Monster. Just look at this. I've got a 7-7 seven, seven beast lying in wait. My opponent doesn't even know. So they could try and develop something that's like a 5-5 five, five this turn, or a 6-6 six, six this turn. Whatever they can get out with their 5 mana. Uh, wait, they did use the coin before. Oh, that's going straight to face as well. It's beautiful. Okay, so what distribution of stats is better? A 4-9 and a 5-5? Five, five, or a 7-7 seven, seven and a 2-7? Well, 
this has taunt anyway, so Thrama is probably not pleased about it. Uh, unfortunately, if it hits my Stranglethorn Tiger, Thrama can kill it. If it hits Thrama, I can kill the Thrama with the Oasis Snapjaws. So it's just, if it hits either of these targets, it hugely changes the swing of the game. So I can't play Mad Bomber. Oh no, I just wasted two damage. I totally forgot to attack with the Oasis Snapjaw because I was deciding about whether I wanted to attack with the Oasis Snapjaw. Oh well. Hero power takes six damage in order to remove the Stranglethorn Tiger plus your 2 3. It's worth it for me already. So, keep that in mind. I've already gotten all the value I can out of this situation. This is delicious. I'm licking my lips from all this value. You can do whatever you'd like at this point. Hmm, I wonder. Do I have any card draw in my entire deck? I've been underdrafting card draw recently. Oh, you know what the true shame is? We could have quick shot in this deck. Thanks to Black Rock Mountain having come out and the Hunter Challenges being in the first round. We could have quick shot. We don't. We could have. But we don't. Just to make that clear. Did you buff attack? Yeah, it's attack. Wow, that was a card to deal one damage. So. Yep, I'll take it. Because now it comes back to my turn. I still have the hugely dominant hand. To my side. Yeah, just when I don't fucking need you anymore. I only had three minions last turn. If they have a mind control tech, which is possible. I mean, there are a lot of cards in their hand that they seem to be very intent on keeping. Is that a top decked mind control? No, it's not, dude. Hunter's Mark, please. I'm tempted to try and Mad Bomber. Because Mad Bomber hits that once. Right. Mad Bomber hit that once. Thank you. Because Mad Bomber hitting that once keeps my 4 4 alive. The gates are open. This looks like a fourth victory. Not that I deserve this one, but looks like that's what it's going to be. Where shall I strike? Yeah, that doesn't help you. I'll get a 6 5 to clear it. You'd probably have been better off buffing this, but. Now I believe. Hang on. No, I don't have believe. Oh, wait, I totally do. I forgot about my hero power. Well played. 4 0. <clears throat> Because I imagine there's probably some brief disruption thanks to the fucking half arena one side, half arena or a different day. Uh, I figure we'll cut to a part two right now. So there's going to be a link to part two down in the description below. Hope to see you there.